Good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review for end of day's trading Tuesday, the 16th of May 2017. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers at uh, www.tradesignal.com. You can download the Google uh, app at the, uh, the or you can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's look at the actual market numbers. Again, this market is invincible. New highs in the FTSE 100 again today, very impressive. Uh, I think the pivot high was around 7530 plus. Uh, the German DAX finished more or less flat stroke negative. The CAC stroke flat stroke negative on the back of a stronger euro. Euro surging all the way up to 1.11 now. Uh, FTSE mid managed to finish out uh, certainly positive. He caught some gains along with the IBEX. So interesting scenario. Uh, interesting scenario that we presented with again. Uh, these markets are just invincible, constantly grinding higher uh, non-stop. It's just a one-way trade and it's getting boring now, to be honest with you. It really is getting boring. I mean, let alone frustrating, but very, very boring. Okay, now um, a market really is uh, is one that works both ways, as opposed to constantly non-stop grinding higher. Either way, uh, the bulls certainly are getting paid, uh, even though it, whether it be club complacency, whether it be invincibility, whether it be ego. I mean, you can call it what you want. I mean, the uh, the 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 latest article with regards to the Nasdaq being one of the most crowded trades ever. Uh, interesting. Okay, interesting to say the least. So. Uh, at present, we have the um, situation with regards to economic data. Let's go to fundamentals. Uh, the main concern, of, obviously, for the U.S. markets is Mr. Trump's uh, inability uh, or uh, to to govern his incompetency, shall we say? Okay. Uh, concerns ranging from Mr. Comey, the controversy regarding that, and now obviously his uh, his ability to withhold and and keep intel safe with Europe now, stating that they may well stop sharing intel. Uh, if he's actually exposing that intel to the Russians. So that certainly doesn't bode well, okay? Uh, again, his volatile presidency is failing to have any mark on the stock market at all. It certainly isn't influencing the stock market one bit. Usually in a normal market environment, that would certainly send equities uh, obviously moving lower, and that isn't the case. So very strange, very, very strange price action thus far. I'm not too sure what we're waiting for. I mean, the uh, French elections are over, the German elections more or less. Uh, well, the first round of the election certainly over, obviously Merkel winning, uh, Euro certainly surging as well, and uh, Sterling surging as well with stronger inflation data today, and having no effect. Uh, it's just amazing, truly amazing, having no effect whatsoever on the stock market. Not too sure what's triggering the market to move higher, uh, even with the potential OPEC out, uh, output deal, uh, even though the Saudis and Russians are on board, the Iraqis today stated that they would only agree to six months and not to nine months. So that again uh, sends the uh, certainly throws the uh, the whole agreement into disarray. So very very puzzling, especially with shale shale uh, output certainly increasing now as well. Uh, the last potential output cut did nothing at all. Okay, has done nothing at all. If anything, the whole output cut has been negated in terms of the price of oil. I mean, let's bring up the chart of oil here. Okay, if 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 you are going to base your uh, trade analysis on the price of oil, let's look at oil. You had a potential output cut here, okay? The market rallied to 54, and then it gave back everything and hit 43. Now we've had talk of an output cut again, and all we've reached is 48, and where are we? We're back to where we started. So has an output cut actually uh, benefited the price of oil? No, it hasn't. It's failed to do so altogether. So really baffling, okay? Really, really baffling right now. And if, if oil is exactly where it started off from the original place, then how are equities in the FTSE cracking and breaking new highs? especially with a stronger sterling. Okay, so the argument of a weaker sterling helping the FTSE and a stronger sterling hurting the FTSE, that isn't true either. Okay, that isn't true either. So again, divergence from sterling, divergence from commodities to a large extent as well. Interesting, it really is baffling as at present in terms of the constant grind higher in global equities. Okay, now other economic data today, obviously the main one is UK inflation. Okay, inflation numbers came out stronger than expected and therefore is uh, net net negative in terms of uh, its uh, sentiment and movement. We also had weaker earnings. Uh, we had weaker earnings from um, EasyJet, Vodafone, Premier Foods, again having no effect. We had European car sales down as well, especially the UK, no effect at all. Uh, German ZDW expectations was, was certainly on the weaker side, so going forward, but the current was certainly stronger. Uh, European trade balance was, was bullish, uh, okay, so certainly on the stronger side. U.S. housing data on the weaker side and ECB Smith certainly sounding hawkish as well. So amazing. OK, truly phenomenal. That's all I can say for now. Truly, truly phenomenal in terms of price action thus far. So let's see exactly where we stand looking at the German DAX in the daily chart. 
after yesterday's hanging man today we hit a pivot high of uh, 12840 and that was rejected very quickly so certainly a bearish candle towards the close so certainly a topping tail there a topping tail candle uh, the tail isn't as long as, as one would expect or one would, uh, would would expect it to be or one would want it to be but nevertheless certainly a rejection 60 minute chart certainly holding that double top triple top pattern now as well uh, the uh, current formation on the German DAX would be bear flag okay down potentially testing this support zone down here around the 12740 12750 zone okay 10 minute chart at the moment you have horizontal resistance okay so horizontal resistance let's see if we can get some traction here so again if 12840 is your resistance zone so whenever we hit 12840 on the on the German DAX then in the, one would expect weakness okay folks so start to expect a weakness that's probably the best way of describing it and a uh, uh, best way of explaining it as well so again expect weakness okay on the German DAX so uh, we're oscillating around the 12 I think the pivot low is 12775 okay so 12775 watch out for 12775 okay in terms of support and then obviously oscillate to 12830 12840 resistance okay 60 minute chart uh, we've looked over so again I'm looking for a break here on the, on the downside taking the pivot high just basically connecting it across whether we get some sort of uh, rising symmetrical wedge, wedge pattern a uh, rising uh, contracting pattern again keep an eye on that okay so certainly looking for weakness in terms of the German DAX moving on to the French CAC now okay bring up the French CAC daily chart at the moment certainly indicating weakness we're consolidating within this red candle bear flag scenario certainly uh, the uh, most predominant pattern unfill gap left behind at uh, 5050 to so watch out below 60 minute chart at the moment you're certainly holding resistance fib 61 percent so still a lower high okay certainly no bullish pattern can be uh, seen here okay for my un understanding my interpretation this is certainly all a bear flag and is waiting for a bearish catalyst the bearish catalyst is plenty also do the factor as well you have the french cac certainly hit that gap fill level at 5417 rejected it very very quickly okay so you are looking at potential double top now at 5420 5420 will be a zone that i will certainly be more than happy to short the cac i'm already short the euro stocks i'll be happy to short the cac here around the 5420 zone so looking for gap fill as a potential resistance for the uh, french cac okay connect the lows together here as well certainly holding for now okay so looking for weakness at 5420 daily chart FTSE 100 i mean this is just one one hell of a bull swing what's triggering this move right now i don't know especially with stronger inflation data as well pretty amazing okay pretty phenomenal move uh, looking at a daily chart looking at a weekly chart truly phenomenal whether it's a silk road in china whether it's uh, oil price potential output court i honestly just could could not pinpoint it one would even if you had sterling lower the one could one could argue that the ecb obviously sorry the boe is going to be more dovish and therefore you are justifying from that perspective s p hasn't broken out yet so you can't justify it there dow hasn't broken out either the german dax really is struggling as well the french cac struggling um euro obviously hitting 1.1 economic data from the uk was certainly weaker last week uh, obviously rising inflation as well eroding real wages so well, what's triggering the FTSE to move higher i just can't pinpoint okay and it's totally totally baffling me as well uh, i'm certainly expecting this to be a potential false breakout okay although it's, it has legs and it's continuing 60 minute chart i do have a potential diagonal trend line okay so looking for exhaustion here okay 10 minute chart as well certainly potential exhaustion at 7530 we actually took out pivot r3 which was very important very, ama very amazing you took out pivot r3 and then just um, phenomenal okay we actually doubled that r3 how often do we take our r3 that's the question okay so certainly yeah from my perspective uh, being i'm certainly interpreting that as uh, being very very bearish at this current juncture okay okay now FTSE after the FTSE let's look at the euro stocks last but not least least daily chart on the euro stocks at the moment still inside bar no real higher high okay so certainly lagging here showing signs of weakness now and exhaustion okay uh, you have diagonal or horizontal resistance here so certainly holding you have uh, obviously gap fill resistance holding as well I the whole concept here is that we're making a lower high okay so bear that in mind take that pivot high down to the double top take it to a pivot low and you're certainly holding that 75 percent resistance and therefore one would expect a test of 3610 again on the euro stock so my bias certainly remains bearish here okay certainly looking for a move lower 
Okay, on that note then, uh, finally, uh, let's just quickly look at the Euro. As you can see here, Euro certainly uh, ripping higher. Very, very impressive move. It looks like it wants to go for that gap on the level again, 1.1140. Very, very impressive thrust on the uh, on the actual uh, price of Euro. Very, very impressive, okay? And that certainly is going to be hurting exports, my interpretation. And that certainly is uh, anticipating a potential tapering from the Eurozone as well. Okay, so uh, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.